good job, your boy Ross back here again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE top 20 heel turns in history, man. It's always something about a good heel turn that you don't expect. You be like, yo, what the hell is going on here? I did not see this coming. I know one off the top of my head I can think of easily is the uh, uh, when Seth Rollins turned heel on the shield. That was perfect. That I did not see coming. Only because they were feuding with Evolution. And they won the feud with them. I think they won both matches between Evolution. I think they had Evolution and them had like two matches. They won all the matches in that feud. And then Seth turned. I did not expect that. No one saw that coming. That was a good heel turn. That was a fantastic heel turn. The one that you don't expect. So I'm sure that's probably going to be in this list. We will see. But appreciate all the love and support. Road 2. 70k we're almost there it's gonna take some time to get there but with your guys support we would definitely get there and uh let's get right into this bad boy Can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> a hardcore legend you can all shut your mouths <laughs> <laughs> no one saw it coming. No one saw it coming. Oh, <laughs> of course, the ref <laughs> dies. Yep. Yup. Oh, this one right here. Oh, back when NXT was so glorious. Tommaso Ciampa turning heel was one of the greatest things that ever happened in NXT. They had one of the greatest feuds in WWE history. Do not at me. This is to be fat. Let's, let's watch this. What? No one saw it coming, bro. This was so good. So good. CM Punk, your turn. Honestly, the last the last few weeks. Oop! <laughs> Look at the fans, the kids, they're so, they were so hurt. Yep, go back. This guy. Styles is completely lost it. Oh. The ring for the right to be called WWE. And it's funny, this is happening to AJ Styles in this clip. Daniel Bryan turning heel was nice too. When he was able to come back to wrestling, that was a, that was nice. Champion. Oh, 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 the official. Oh. Contact the official. Oh, wait a yep. Daniel Bryan with a low blow. The official didn't see the low blow by yep. Daniel Bryan. Oh, look at <laughs> I may need to make this as the thumbnail, man. Her face of disappointment tells it all. That is what a good heel does when you can legitimately, especially in this day and age, with social media and kayfabe pretty, pretty much being dead. If you can really hurt somebody like this emotionally you're doing your job <laughs> this isn't right guys i don't know daniel bryan just low blow 
AJ Styles is helpless. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing. The CEO of this company, Triple H. And there's Nikki. Bree's sister. The S Lock. Oh, come on! Mm -hmm. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, Stephanie's had this coming a long time she coming for the fellas. And then this. This is sickening. I was medically disqualified from ever doing this again. Oh yeah, I had the same reaction. You know, and over the years, I started to feel pretty good. I came back home. And we're my glad career back. on my terms. What if rated R This was nice. This was so good. This was so good. What if rated RKO work together? Bro, it's so good. Randy is the best when he's a heel. RKO bro. got back together one more time. I'm getting goosebumps because I was like, bro, that would be awesome. Rated RKO, sign me up. And then, oh, oh my God. God! What? That was so good. So oh, good, bro. Face first of course, team. Roman. We have a new Universal Champ. And Roman coming out. This was the heel turn that had made him a legend, damn near, in WWE. This heel turn made him goaded. Imagine if the crowd was there. Oh, my God. This made him goaded, bro. This is, this is the rogue Roman we needed. And a monster, and that's I'm here. Reigns is mangling this heel chair over the... Love it. Oh, this one right here, man. <laughs> I will never forget watching this live. Daniel Bryan winning, right? They got the confetti. They set this up great. They got the confetti. Triple H screws him. Oh, my. And then he ends up getting cashed in. Oh, my God, that was... It made Daniel Bryan the ultimate babyface in which we had not seen since the Attitude Era, bro. He was the ultimate babyface then. There was nothing they could do. Even when they turned him heel, when he joined the Wyatt family, it did not work. Because he was too over then. And this moment solidified it. Yep. I was just, just, I couldn't believe what I saw, bro. Oh yeah, they were calling him Goldberg. <laughs> I remember that time because he, he definitely was like a great value Goldberg. They were calling him Goldberg at this point. And then that's when he got over when he went heel. The crowd was. And then he started getting over because of that. He was a heel. He turned, he turned heel. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Beautiful. Triple H 
bitch was a son of a bitch. Piece of crap. Out of my building. That's a from the ring. Now the Undertaker's got to gain possession of the urn, and it's over. First slam. Give him the urn. Paul Burr's laughing. Paul Burr's laughing. Look at this. I'll say it. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, stop that. Stop that. Are you? Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace, a legendary character in WWE. Brother! WWF, WWE. Yep, right there. Oh, what the hell? Great. Oh. Fantastic. That was a good heel turn, too. That was a legendary, iconic heel turn, creating one of the best blood feuds we had seen in WWE. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, those series of matches, great. You can always go back and rewatch them. I love me some good heel turns. Triple H and Levin, after pedigreeing his best friend. Yep, he's gonna kick him. Yep, he's gonna kick him. What? <laughs> it's the look, like. It's made this last year in the WWE one of my favorite years of my entire career. And a lot of that's because of you. I'm gonna have your back always. That's never gonna change, okay? It's nothing compared to this, but uh, can I have it, please? I'll give it to you anyway. I mean, how come my name's on this? Yep. He turned on him. And just a look at disgust on the face of Owens. That was a nice heel turn. And this one right here, of course, Randy Orton winning the World Heavyweight Championship and turning on. Um, and then uh, Evolution turning on him. Now, of course, the tower run could have been longer, but I, I believe Randy had got in trouble or whatnot, so they decided to step away from him being the, the champion. So that's why his title reign wasn't that long. Because I think he was supposed to have a longer title reign, but I think he was getting in trouble backstage, getting some backstage heat. This was a good... This is really good, bro. This was really good, bro. Right here. Is this it? No, this is the one where Ambrose turns on Seth. Yep. What the hell? Yep. Are you kidding me? Ambrose turned on him, man. And he did it. I think this was the night when Roman Reigns had to relinquish the title. I believe this was the night when he had to relinquish the title due to uh, leukemia, uh, leukemia uh, complications. I think this was that night. But it worked because this, oh, my God, it was so, no one saw it coming. No one saw this heel turn coming, and it worked because it was like, damn, bro. One of the, you know what I'm saying? They just. You know, they, they just found out some crazy news, and, and this is what happens. I want to say this is that segment. Correct me if I'm wrong. Either way, this was a fantastic heel turn. And I think it led to the segment where he was like, you know what I'm saying, Roman kind of got what he deserved. They kind of went really rogue on that promo. It led to Ambrose saying that, like, Roman kind of got what he deserves, so to speak. Like, he he literally went rogue, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. <laughs> yup. This is, I figured this would be number one. Happened in my hometown in Houston. WrestleMania 17, if not one of the greatest WrestleManias ever in all the WrestleManias. Stone Cold aligning with Vince McMahon. No one saw it coming. 
it didn't ultimately work at the beginning because people were still cheering Stone Cold, but it was just one of those things where I was like, no one saw this coming. JR sold it on commentary. I was confused as a kid because I was like, but I still like him. I still like Stone Cold. Why why is he why is he aligning himself with Vince? What what's going on? We gotta watch this. Look at this. Mm-hmm. It was great. It was great. Fantastic. And if you watch that match, they still cheered. It didn't matter. They still cheered when Stone Cold won, even though that was like, you know what I'm saying, Vince McMahon acting on behalf of him. It was, it was fantastic. Very fantastic. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite heel turn moment from this video. For me, I gotta go with the Daniel Bryan winning at SummerSlam. That one got me. I was not expecting that. I wasn't. I thought they actually was gonna let him run with the title and then Triple H screwing him over. Fantastic. I enjoyed that. So let me know what's your favorite one from this video. Appreciate all of the support. Road to Sandy K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one.